Okay, so we're having some technical issues there for our report from our colleague uh, Renee Marsh. But I want to discuss these potential cuts through the EPA as well as other topics with Republican Congressman Buddy Carter. He is also a member of the House's Energy and Commerce Committee. Um, and you represent the Georgia coast, of course. Congressman, so when you hear uh, potential cuts to initiatives aimed at improving water and air quality, what is your reaction to that? Well, first of all, understand that we're all in favor of clean air and clean water, but the EPA is a bloated bureaucracy. I mean, you said just a second ago that President Trump is is delivering on campaign promises, and that's exactly what he, he wanted to do and what he promised to do, and he is doing that. He promised that he would increase defense spending, and in order to do that, he is also, at the same time, cutting the budget of the EPA and trying to get them back to what is their core mission, and that's very important. Instead of them going out and trying to regulate mud puddles on farms or drainage ditches, they need to be focusing on their core mission. But, but there are other projects they have beyond what you just listed that, that do you know, improve water, improve air quality. Are you concerned at all that that could suffer as a result of these cuts? I am confident the EPA can can perform and deliver on what their core mission is with less bureaucracy than they have right now. They need to really be leaner than they are right now and do a better job. There's no question about that. And again, all of us want clean air, all of us want clean water, and we're going to make sure. And I would also hesitate to to jump on this right now. This is the beginning. Let's let's be calm here. I don't know that there will be as much cut as being proposed, but certainly this is the beginning of it. And you have faced questions, some, some tough questions at town halls recently mm -hmm. about these cuts. Uh, constituents are clearly concerned. So how do you think the people you represent will react if these proposals come to fruition? Well, I think they will understand. Um, listen, the coast of Georgia is my home. It's where I was born and bred. I, I love the area. I'm never going to do anything to harm our environment. I'm going to make sure that we're protected. But at the same time, how fair is it for us to leave $20 trillion in debt to our children, to our grandchildren? We have got to start cleaning up this mess in Washington, D.C., and cutting these agencies and getting them to focus on what their original mission was. And part of that is to start with the EPA. I don't think there's any better place that we can start than with the EPA. Okay, Congressman, I want to change gears and, and turn to another topic we've been speaking about on the show, the president's unsubstantiated claim that President Obama wiretapped his phone during the election. The chair of the House Intel Committee, Congressman Devin Nunes, says this claim will be investigated. What is your reaction to all of this? Well, certainly, uh, Chairman Nunes and the Intelligence Committee in the House, and I suspect that the Intelligence Committee in the Senate, I, I, I know that they will do their job. I have the utmost confidence in them. The past session, I served on the Oversight Committee, and we, we looked into a number of these things. So, I, you know, it's, it's a committee process in Congress, and when these type of things come up, I think that we owe it to our constituents to, to look into them, and I'm sure that the Intelligence Committee, as well as the Oversight Committee, will do just that. Let me ask you, because the DNI uh, former leader, James Clapper, came on one of the morning shows with Chuck Todd and said that, that there was no FISA warrant on Donald Trump's phone. If it turns out that uh, this, you know, is totally unsubstantiated, which is what James Clapper said and other U.S. officials we've spoken with say, and the president made these allegations based on right-wing media reports and that alone, would that give you pause for concern? Well, it, of course, that's to to be determined. I mean, we can get into speculation about what might be, what might not be. I don't think the president would have made this uh, made this statement unless he had reason to believe that it was true. Uh, at the same time, you know, we yes, we need to get to the bottom of it. We need to understand it, and make sure that we do everything we can to to vent this and to vet it to make sure that nothing has happened. But at the same time. Before we go into speculating what might be or what might not be, let's let the, let, let the process run its course. All right, Congressman Buddy Carter.